All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm not really sure what I'm going to title this, but this is a real, actual thing that you can do for science against the coronavirus. Okay, so I'm going to try to explain this, but also at the same time, I don't want to completely bore you guys. But basically, this is a game, and it's more of an algorithm puzzle is the best way that I can explain it. So proteins are long chains of amino acids and they fold so the whole thing is is that there's a million different ways that you could try to manipulate a protein and basically what they're trying to do right now like they do with um with with antiviral drugs like hiv and stuff like that which blocks them from binding to human cells i believe is they are trying to find using players unique um unique ways and situations in which you can fold and or block or create a protein to to block it from from binding with human cells and they are doing this with the coronavirus um now they are basically giving you a structure of the virus and then you go in using this this uh game let's say and you manipulate it and they have certain parameters and it'll tell you if it works or not so basically instead of have a computer run an algorithm of all different situations they want they want humans with unique uh choices and sort of uh capabilities that we have to kind of try outside of the box things or things that somebody might not think of to run these situations on our own and see if they might find one that's viable. Um, now, I've probably explained this horribly. I'm trying to explain in layman's terms and very basic, not so sciencey ways so that you guys realize this is something cool and this is something you can do because I, I don't know anything about this stuff. I'm going to be honest. I played their tutorial. It's really cool. Uh, it says, you don't have to be a scientist to do the science that's here. Um, so they have plenty of tutorials to show you how to do this. Um, but they are real. This is a real nonprofit. And the most promising solutions that people come up with, regular people like you and me, uh, they will actually manufacture those solutions and test them at the University of Washington Institute for Protein Design. It just sounds so cool, doesn't it? Now, there is something separate that allows you, while not playing a game, to basically donate your computer's CPU power to running calculations um, for this. Uh, not this particular thing, but for to help researchers with coronavirus. So I will link that as well. And that requires nothing but downloading it and running it. And that's something I suggest, you know, you run when you go to bed or when you're not doing anything because it will use obviously your computer CPU power. So like if you're gonna play video games, I don't think you can also run that in the background. Um, it's pretty CPU heavy. It doesn't harm your computer. I would just set it and go to bed. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I just want to show you guys like one of the beginner tutorials to show you guys that you can do this and it is very simple um, because they literally show you one little piece at a time and then bring it all together for you to do. So these are side chains and this represents a clash in the protein, which is bad. If you hover over it, it says the atoms are too close. So how do you fix that? You're literally just going to bend them. And then it's out of the way and you're like, oh, that was so easy. And then you move on to the next one. And the next one is going to show you a different little feature and a different, you're going to learn something different about, uh, about these proteins, which is cool. Okay. So each chapter introduces different little things like the first setup you saw. And then at the end of each chapter, you have kind of one that kind of sums it all up. So this is one of those. And I want to just show you guys this because if you're not if you're not going to try to play this or you're not interested in playing this, but you're just interested in what this is and you kind of want to learn a little bit more about proteins. That's cool. I'm going to try to just explain what the game has explained to me to allow me to get to the other part, which is the coronavirus. Now, these flat square looking ones, those are sheets. And like, I might want to freeze this one in place because that's looking, that's looking pretty good. Now, why is it looking pretty good? The blue and the white bands that you see moving in between, those are hydrogen bonds. Yes? Yes. 
<laughs> I'm just checking my notes. Those are hydrogen bonds. Those are good. Now, we've already gone over that the red spikies are bad. <laughs> I love my scientific names for everything. How about you guys? Um, now, these big red bubbles are because these are too far apart. So that's an empty void. That's what it says. So you have to pack this in. So you literally have to like drag and move this one in to get rid of these. Now you don't have to get rid of all of them. It can still function and fold up, but that's like way too big. Um, if you... Okay, so I'm not going to lie. These things, it can take a while. Um, I'm sure there's people who know all about this sort of stuff who it doesn't take a long time, but like I said, one of the reasons why they want people like you and me doing this is because I'm going to sit here and maybe drag something around that, you know, someone might think is crazy to do because it's just not supposed to fold like that. So, and it, and it might. So that's kind of the whole point of this. I got rid of a few of the larger ones. going to keep going. This thing is finicky as heck. You might accidentally click the wrong thing and lose points and be like, oh my god, no. Just control Z and it'll go away and you'll be fine. All right, so this is the coronavirus that I've been working on. We're not doing too bad. It takes a while and I also, like, start concentrating and then forget to talk to you guys. So I'm just, I'm just going to kind of sit here and do a little bit and give you guys an idea of how this goes. But really... You should just go download it yourself and start messing around with it and see what you can come up with. Okay, so but not this for a while now. This is what we have. Uh, you may or may not notice any differences. It's kind of hard. Um, but basically, we are now in the top 200 for this little design we got going here, which is really cool. And that's out of like 1,050, so... I think we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Oh, we're at 180 already. Okay. That was fast. Cool. I'm so tired. I have scienced so hard. Um, so basically right now we are ranked at 66 out of 1,074. I'm really tired. Now I know why they needed, um, people to do this because it takes a long time. And we have scienced so hard tonight. If you if you guys download this, let me know what your score, what your rank was. If you beat me, I am going to save this. The nice thing about it is that I can save it. Um, and if anything, the chat is very entertaining with people saying, Come on, guys, we're going to find the cure and we're going to beat corona and you know stuff like that so it's 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 a pretty <laughs> it's like interesting to have these conversations with people so i know i probably already did an outro somewhere earlier and then i didn't plan on playing for this long so just let me know what you guys are doing um let me know how your sciencing went i love you guys i'll see you guys in the next one